Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I'm sitting here with my HP Touchpad. Uh, it is running a new build from uh, one of the developers, JC Sullins, who has made for us a new CyanogenMod 10, CM10, that is based on the Jelly Bean, which you see here, 4.1.2. Uh, this build is uh, it's different from our previous CM10 builds because it does have a few things that we didn't have in the past. Uh, one of those being sound. Uh, the audio is actually up and working very well, actually. Uh, the uh, Google Now uh, is working, sort of. Uh, there are some good things and some bad things with this build, and we'll take a look at a few of them here now. Uh, first of all, let's go in and take a look at uh, YouTube. So I can demonstrate for you the fact that the uh, audio is working fairly well. Uh, let me just, let's see here, uh, pick some random video here. This seems topical. You know, like a lot of liberal Americans, I was excited when Barack Obama took office four years ago. <laughs> but it's a very different world now. And Mitt Romney is a very different candidate. Okay, thank you, Joss Whedon. Uh, so you can see here that the uh, YouTube is working very well. Uh, HD, full audio, everything seems to be working wonderfully. If I go into, like, let's say Netflix, for example, uh, we'll take a look and see how that handles as well. A uh, few things to note here. Uh, number one, this build is still experimental, not meant for everyday use. This is not meant to be a replacement of a... Uh, of your normal stable Cyanogen Mod 9. Uh, let me just see what we have here. Um, here we go. Just pick a tried and true classic, the Dark Crystal. And anyway, like I was saying, uh, there are some uh, things on here that would make you not want to use this for an everyday build. Okay. So as you can see, the audio is working very well, the video is working very well. Very nice. Uh, if you haven't seen The Dark Crystal, please watch it. It's on Netflix. It's one of Jim Henson's best works. Anyway, um, one of the things that we've noticed here is that uh, while the audio works and the video works very well, uh, one of the things that you might struggle with is uh, the Google Now. And I'm just going to hit the microphone up here. Find me a picture of a monkey. Okay, so it didn't find it. Let me try it again. Find me a picture of a monkey. Okay, let me try it one more time here. Find me a picture of a monkey. So what I've noticed here is that it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It seems to struggle a little bit, but you can tell that it's definitely trying to recognize what I said. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and try it one more time. Picture of a monkey. Oh, there it goes. See? And then it found it. And, and it, it's just a little temperamental. That could just be Google Now um, just being stupid for me. Um, but it does seem to be... Uh, at least working fairly well here. So again, not quite ready to be your everyday use, but uh, it does seem to work. Now, uh, I will go over a few things here real quick. Number one, do not ask me because the camera is not working for CM10. Yes, the camera works for CM9 uh, almost fairly well. That's another video for another day. But as it stands right now, the big thing here is that CM10 is still being developed by J.C. Sellins and there are other folks that are working as well. This is forward progress. The CM10 is not quite ready for a nightly build yet, but it will be coming down the road uh, once some of the other bugs get worked out. Now, another thing with this is it's got some charging uh, issues. Uh, apparently it doesn't have great battery life, uh, so I might wake up tomorrow morning and find this thing completely dead. Let's talk real quick about what I would need to do if I wanted to load this on my device. 
So the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to download the uh, <clears throat> the build, the CM10 build, and then I would also want to download the Jelly Bean uh, G apps. Now both of those files, there will be a link to both of those files on my website, reverendkyle.com. You can go and find those there. Um, as far as uh, what you would do with your original build, the one that's on there now, what you would want to do is go to twerp and you would want to have both the gapps zip file and the uh, cm10 zip file on your device already sitting there ready to go uh, in their zip format now in order to run this or load this uh, i recommend personally that you go in and you do a wipe you do a wipe your system you wipe your factory reset you basically do all four of these that will completely eliminate all Android builds and whatnot off of your device. Uh, that's what I do. If you want to attempt to install it without that, uh, go for it. It's up to you. But beware uh, if you don't get a good boot or it stalls or you get a boot loop, uh, you may need to come in here and do this. So once you've wiped all of these things, you can go into install and you find it and here's the experimental cm10 and then uh, you're going to want a gapps file you'll flash both of those and then you'll go in and let it reboot and do your thing so like i said both of those files i'll have links available for you on uh, reverendkyle.com uh, this is still experimental uh, we need to uh, be thankful for jc sellins for continuing his work on this build and uh, hopefully we'll see some good things down the road uh, uh, if you do have any questions, please uh, uh, po don't post them in the uh, video um, comments because uh, very few times does anybody actually read those. Please post them in a forum, either on reverendkyle.com uh, or on some of the other forums that are available. So again, this has been Reverend Kyle showing you the latest of the uh, Cyanogen Mon 10 updates uh, from the developers.